wait. <laughs> What's coming up next? Let's find out. It's Weeknight Update with Ellie Mueller. Love the guy. <laughs> and the morning show starting Rebo Wilson. Woo! And extremely early with Edward Scott. And that's all to come on Nick at Night. Take it away, Ellie! <laughs> From the court, you two don't, y'all. Hey, hey. The lot better than what says me strong, yes, bro. It's weak up there with Ellie Moore. That's right. Weak up there with Ellie Moore. <laughs> and now, man, with a lot of fun on his Hey, hey. Don't just uh, take my word for it. Look at the many, many comments saying the same thing. Hey, hey, hey. It's the truth. Mr. Ellie Gungi Moore. Welcome to Week No Update. I am Ellie Kungi Mueller. What is up, my grasshoppers? Tom Allen! Hey, boss! It is the end of the week! <laughs> yes, indeed! Phew! It has been quite a week! <laughs> yes, it is! Yes, it has! Yes! Oh, man! You can say that again! Actually, I have said that many, many, many times at the end of uh, weeks like this. Oh, right. So, what's new? Well, I'll tell you what's new. First off, I want to tell everybody that I have found this week's Counter of the Week, and you'll find out who has that Counter of the Week at the uh, end of the show during the end of the experience. Stay tuned for that. In the meantime, theme songs composed by Donald Matt, this piano, Mild Shocker, the Color Big Crew, the Camel Lady, and E-Round 2004 are responsible for all the things you're going to see here on this program tonight. Well, almost all Things that you're going to see in here on this program tonight. There are a few things that I have uh, come up with, things like that, but I'm on now. Let's really take things one step at a time, all right? And by the way, please, please continue to pray for the Color Crew and the Camel Lady because they are still sick, all right? They have made a new episode of Special Delivery you know, for tonight, and they have made five new episodes of uh, Special Delivery for our next week. They uh, did all of that, you know, last month, all right? So, that's why I've been able to uh, show you uh, all the new episodes of Special Delivery from, I think, a couple of months ago up until this point, but, you know, they're not going to... Uh, make any more episodes of Special Delivery until they are better. So please pray for them. Please continue to uh, help them out. And please, please, tell them that I think. Okay? If you haven't uh, gone over to their channel yet, please do so. All right? Now, what's up? Here we go. What's up? What's up? What's up? Here we go. What is a uh 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 what uh uh is a uh uh what uh uh is a uh uh what is a uh uh what is a uh uh what uh uh is a uh uh what uh uh is a uh uh what uh uh is a uh uh what is up bum 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 What's up with Cecily Strong, a woman who loves counting her money? Yeah, leaving SNL and get you to go from rags to riches very quickly. Or so they say. Uh, she said that she knew when to leave because it felt like a graduation. Or it felt like it uh, to her. Wow. She's technically lying. But, whatever. What is her net worth? Four million dollars. Huh? So, wait. She is not rich. Uh oh. Not cool. Just no. Man, this is getting so crazy, I'm sweating bullets as we speak. Hey, here's another topic list with uh, MP. Come on, MP. Does everybody know what time it is? Is it time for something that involves a weeknight update? That's correct. It's time for our top eight. Yeah, top eight. You know what the top eight things are. Yeah, it's going to be great. Oh, I'm so 
excited! I wonder what the top eight is going to be this time. Well, we're going to have to figure it out. Well, Ellie's going to figure it out. Yeah, Tom, it's absolutely so. Well then, what are we waiting for? Take it away, Ellie! Nah, bro, this place has got Wi-Fi. It's so fast. Right? If you need a taste of good TV, don't cook tonight. Watch Nick at night. Mmm, good TV. Every night for the TV generation. There's a dazzling scene on your TV screen, and it's not a book or a magazine. Don't touch that dial, everything's alright. From TV land on Nick at night. When my son Michael Jordan plays a game, don't you just love to see him run up those big numbers? But when you're buying carpeting, you love to keep the numbers as small as possible. That's why you call Empire for warehouse prices, not showroom prices. And Empire will deliver any day you say, so you don't have to miss any of Michael's games. Not a one. And hey, no payment until next season. 588 Empire! We went to buy carpeting. We wanted blue to match the couch. They had royal blue, a dusty blue, periwinkle blue. But if we don't bring the couch, how do we choose the right blue? Empire brings carpet samples to you. We help you choose the color, and we install next day. So we get the right blue without lugging around the couch. And with no monthly payment till August. That couch wouldn't fit in your car anyway. 588 300 Empire. this piano uh, composed for this program. You know what? I love theme song too. And Dominic Magic's piano always, I mean always, plays some of the greatest songs known to man. <laughs> yeah, and we can add the theme song to this program on the list. <laughs> yes, indeed. So, uh, another shout out to uh, to uh, Dominic Magic's piano. That's right. Uh, can we do another episode of Special Delivery now? We can watch another episode of Special Delivery. Let's go.
Look at them. They are fast asleep. Yeah, and we really have to keep quiet. We don't want to wake them up. Yes, you're right, work of art bear. They always have to work at the night shift. Yeah, they're like night owls. They sleep during the day and they stay up all night. Yeah, that's what they have to say. Arg. Shh. Oh, I'm uh, sorry. Ugh. Keep it down. Yeah, we're trying to sleep. That was my fault, me. I'm sorry. It's okay. Come on, let's go back to sleep. Well, can you sing us a lullaby? Oh, sure. I can absolutely do that. Now then. <clears throat> go to sleep. You too go to sleep. <sighs> go to sleep. You too go to Now that is much better. Yeah, mm-hmm, yeah. Now come on, let's let them sleep, okay? Okay, okay. Arr, sure they me, hearties. That was incredible. That was wonderful. And now, here's another performance from the Multiverse Disability Choir. Tantalize and tease Hot dogs 
that was wonderful. That was beautiful. And now, I believe it's time for us to have a quick moment forever. A moment for everyone. Okay, folks, listen up. All right? By the now, the guy who owns the Weather Channel and the guy who is responsible for most of the syndicated shows that you see on TV pretty much every day. You know what? That guy is about to own the Disney-owned TV networks. We're talking Fox, ABC, Disney Channel, the works. All right, guess how much he is offering Bob Iger, you know, for about all those Disney, all those Disney uh, networks. Ten billion dollars. All right, you know what that means. <laughs> that means that Byron Allen will now be part of you know, the group of people who will ultimately give the writers and the actors and the actresses a new fair deal. All right? Now, here's the deal, folks, right? This goes out to uh, the people in the WGA and SAG after. All right? Here's the deal, guys. All right? You know what? You folks have a chance to have a really fair deal. So, in the event that Byron Allen does own all the uh, Disney Network and things like that. First off, go over to Byron Allen immediately. All right. Once you get that deal from Byron Allen, you know, don't just uh, you know, go to all those the other uh, studios, you know, uh, bit by bit. Go to AMPTP because once you get the uh, thumbs up from Byron Allen, you know that everyone else will follow. All right. At Byron Allen. I got to applaud you, all right, because you went from just starting out on uh, good times and things like that to now owning a bunch of uh, TV networks and things like that. Plus, plus, one of your syndicated shows is going to be on the CBS television network, Comics Unleashed. That is a big, big deal, all right? That means a lot of money will be coming into your pockets. All right, make sure that uh, you file uh, taxes on all that money. All right? You know what, folks? Let's just have some talking time. Here we go. Hey, do you know what time it is? That's right, it's talking time to know what Ellie is talking about. So, let's talk about it. Yeah! All right, folks. Cecily Strong left uh, Saturday Night Live in the middle of last season, you know, before uh, the writers were on strike and the actors and actresses uh, soon followed. You know, and Cecily Strong said that it is very rare at SNL to say goodbye in a happy mood. Well, let's be honest, that's because and as no uh, says goodbye to uh, former uh, cast members, you know, it's pretty much complete sadness. But whatever. Now, check this out, all right? Cecily Strong said that uh, Keenan Thompson will be able to do it forever. You know, or do what Saturday Night Live forever. Of course, nobody knows that for sure. And here's something else, all right? 
Cecily also mentioned that leaving SNL was like graduating from high school or college, high school or college, I should say. This is pretty insane. You know, this is pretty insane. And what makes this even crazier is the fact that he has a net worth of only four million dollars. Four million dollars. And not a lot of people know this, but <laughs> He made, you know, just about a quarter of a million dollars a year on Saturday Night Live. You know, well, right before I he left. So to go from that to complete obscurity is just, oh, oh. Let's just wrap this thing up because this has been a roller coaster. Enjoy the experiments and all that the good jazz. I'll see you on Monday. That's news. I'm Alski. Four by four. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time once again for the any experiments. So buckle up, sit back, relax, and get ready to laugh and be amazed because yeah, the any experiments will blow you away. Ladies and gentlemen, the round box with knuckles is beginning in three. Two, one, now! Before we get started with uh, this episode of the round, some box of knuckles, but we just say this, right? Miles Tucker, the guy who always plays the announcer and knuckles, has been going through some technical difficulties. So, so he was able to get lines done, you know, as the announcer, but not as knuckles. So, what you're going to see is a compromise episode of the round of box of knuckles. We're preparing for takeoff. Make sure that your seatbelts are positioned properly. Wait, we are not on an airplane. Well, you understand what I'm about to say, right? Yes, it's time for the random box with knuckles. This has been the Random Box with Knuckles, a production of Captain's Shoes and Nick at Night. When I have any breaks, we fix it. Also, please send help. Good morning. I wonder what's coming up next. It's our last show of the night. Comment of the week with L.A. Muller. And then we'll switch over to Nicktoons to watch SpongeBob SquarePants and The Loud House. That's all still to come on Neck at Night. From the Eric Beyond. Have a good morning. Bye. All right, folks. It is that time of the week again. That's right. It's time to find out who has this week's comment of the week. Here we go. I've received a lot of responses to uh, the following question. What are the videos that you like to watch while you're waiting for the newest episode of Weekly Update to be uploaded? <coughs> Excuse me. Oh my goodness. You know, these responses are pretty good. For example, Jazz Ratchet and Clank said, Will or Net. You know, in other words, he likes to watch uh, Will, not, Will or Net movies. Now, Anthony Showbot does pop culture and opening said, Other YouTube uh, content creators. And uh, he really went uh, deep. You know, and he, you know, by mentioning Josh Cook and uh, several other uh, people you know some of those uh, youtubers i don't even uh, know right now but pretty soon i will you know but you know who knows at this point uh oh the the reefy uh revived you know i said that i don't know of yet they're all interesting Beaten by a girl uh, came back and said, 
I am usually watching any kind of anime uh, videos, really. Or I'm listening to the openings of my favorite anime. And William Beanham, you know, who uh, won uh, comment, I mean, who won the uh, the Comment of the Week uh, award, said, I like to watch episodes of Special Delivery while waiting for uh, new episodes of the Multiverse Disability Quad. I mean, he meant to say while, while, while waiting for uh, new episodes of Week Now Update. And that is pretty cool. So, there you go. William Beanham is now in the lead, and everyone else is uh, not too far behind. You know, amazing responses this week, everybody. Amazing responses. Let's see what happens next week. We have found another comment of the week. That's right. It wasn't easy, but hey, if it was easy, then everybody would do it. So, there you go. Next week, we're going to do it again. Alright, so be prepared. Alright? Alright. Okay. So, Cecily Strong thinks that leaving SNL was the best thing that she has ever done. I'm like, really? I'm surprised that she even uh, managed to get on SNL in the first place. <laughs> I mean, seriously. Her brand of humor is so awkward that makes this the smallest thing that anyone could ever think of. Ah, who am I kidding? You know, that makes no sense at all, but you get what I'm saying, right? Okay, so what do we learn? We learned that Cecily Strong's decision to leave SNL was just plain selfish on Cecily's part, even though, let's be honest, Cecily Strong isn't that funny on SNL. And we also learned that $4 million is pretty much the highest that her net worth will ever be. Alright? Whew! We gotta move, but before we go, here it is, your musical performance time. Gentlemen, it's time for our musical performance time performance. <laughs> this time... I have an original composition for you. Let's have some fun. Thank you.